Welcome guys, so I have two meshes here, they are pretty low poly as you can see here, only 6 faces right now. But to add any kind of detail, I need more polygons or faces. I could either use subdivision or voxel remesh to achieve that, but which one to use and when? To know that, we need to know how they work. So if I subdivide it, it divides each faces into 4 new faces, thus increasing the number of faces. But at the same time, it smoothed the mesh. If you don't want smoothness, simply check the linear subdivision box and then subdivide. The great thing about the subdivision is that it does not change the topology of your mesh and you can go back and forth from one subdivision level to another like this. It's a non-destructive method. But if you tap on delete lower, you can no longer go back to the lower subdivision. Delete higher works the same way for higher subdivision. Now when I voxel remesh, it adds polygon and smooths the edges. If you don't want smoothness, check the keep sharp edges box. This style allows you to set the resolution high or low. This checker pattern is a preview of how big the faces will be on the model. Pretty useful. It is very important to remember that when I voxel remesh, it remeshes the object. As the name suggests, it alters the topology. It does not preserve the topology like subdivision. Also, now there is no way of going back to its previous state without undoing. So here I have a model with clean topology. The mesh flow is looking good, but I need to add more details to it. I want to keep this topology. So in this case, I will simply subdivide. Now I can go back to low resolution, make changes to big forms if I want. But I can also go to higher resolution to add smaller details. Everything is preserved. So I will ask myself these questions before I subdivide. If the answer is yes, I will subdivide. Here I have multiple meshes like this and I want to join them into one mesh and the transition areas where they connect need to look smooth. In this case, I will voxel remesh. I don't have to worry when it alters the topology of the mesh since the topology was not clean or texture or animation ready in the first place. The voxel remesh is usually used during the blocking stage of sculpting uh, when there is still you know a possibility that you might change the form of your model drastically like adding a limb or facial feature or something like that so i will ask myself these questions if the answer is no i'll stick to voxel remeshing for more resolution until i reach that stage so what if after reaching that stage now, I want to have clean topology. I want to texture it, pose and animate it. Well, that's when you need retopology or quadrimeasure. That's exactly what it does. It creates clean topology with good flow, which makes the model texture, pose and animation ready. And if you want to see the practical use of subdivision and voxel remesh, make sure to check these tutorials. And subscribe if you found this tutorial useful. I will see you in the next video.